Let's go ahead and solve this equation. And notice I have cosine of something equals 0.3. So cosine of whatever this is <clears throat> will spit out a 0.3. And if I think about that, um, cosine of some rotation has a width of 0.3. So what rotation would have a width of 0.3? And remember when I do this, I'm looking up for cosine and I'm looking down. So I should have two primary angles for it. So the way I'm going to get that is I'm going to inverse cosine this sign. So if I go um, inverse cosine of 0.3, do that on my calculator. <clears throat> I'm in radians. Oops, that was cosine of 0.3. I want to go inverse cosine of 0.3. 1.266. One point two six six. So that means that this angle right here is about one point two six six radians. So there's that rotation right there. And now if I want to get this rotation, notice that this angle is the is the same as that angle. So uh I want to find this. So I could go two pi a full rotation minus minus this angle that I was given. So two pi minus 1.266 will give me that one. Let me do that. So 2 pi minus 1.266, 5.017. 5 5.017 is my other angle. And any full rotation of those, so those multipliers of 2 pi times n. And notice each of these is equal to this. So this is equal to that, and this is also equal to that. So uh, first thing I will do then is divide both sides by 3. Yeah. And uh, if I do that, <clears throat> over here, I've got this x minus pi over 3. Uh, 1.266 divided by 3. Do that on my calculator. Uh, 0.422. And notice it's plus 2 pi divided by 3 times n, because I shortened up that period. This one, I'm doing the 5.017 divided by 3. 1.6. 7, 2, uh, again, plus the 2 pi over 3, n equals x minus pi over 3. Now I need to add pi over 3 to both sides. And notice that I'm just combining some like terms, so this plus this, or this plus this. So um, the, the period is, shouldn't be affected by this. This is in terms of n. So I'm going to add pi over 3 to both sides. And on my calculator, that, that would look like uh, I could just go pi over 3 plus, uh, what was it, 0.422. So 1.469. I'm saying equals, I should say about. And uh, over here, if I add pi over 3 to that, I'll just do that on my calculator that I have sitting in front of me, plus pi over 3, 2.719. And there they are. Those are, my, those are my values. Now I could check it pretty easily on my calculator. And the way that I'm going to check it is plug it back in to the original equation and, uh, and see if it works. So I'm just going to write these values down real quick. 469 and 2.1, no, 2.719. <clears throat> and if I think back my original equation... was cosine of 3 times x minus pi over 3. So notice I can enter that in my cosine of uh, 3 times um, x minus 
pi over 3. And I don't know what my x value is right now, so that'll spit out some value for me. But let's say that I let x equal the 1.469. Store that in x. <clears throat> Hit enter. And then I can go second enter, second enter. That's about 0.3. Yeah, that works. And let me check my other one. It was 2.719. I'm going to store that in X as well. Let me dig back into my answers. Boom. That's about 0.3 as well. So I feel pretty confident with those answers. I will keep them. And it's an infinite number of answers. Those are just kind of my, uh, my base answers for it.